Well, if bluegrass music wasn't born in the North Georgia mountains, it certainly was perfected there. At one time, people got together nearly every weekend to pick stringed instruments and sing. But now, there are only a few places to hear this historic music, and one of them is very close to Atlanta. The Everett Brothers Music Barn has been giving free concerts every Saturday for 31 years. It's tonight's West Side Story. Most Saturday nights, 175 or so people will come here to enjoy bluegrass. We're glad to have you folks down here. And while the listeners take their seats in the barn, 40 feet away in the main house, there's a band in the living room warming up. Another in the kitchen and a third in the back bedroom. Uh, this type of music, uh, people can relate to it. It's down to earth type, people can understand it, you see. When you're up here singing a song, the people out there, they can understand what you're saying, and, and they can relate to a lot of stuff. Because it's part of their life. Right. One man in this audience didn't grow up listening to bluegrass. He's from Boston, and read about the Everett's in the New York Times, and when in Atlanta on business, just had to come see for himself. And Connie said to me, how'd you like to go out and see the Ever Brothers Barn and hear some bluegrass? So I said, We're going. When do we have to be there? The first pick strikes the first chord at 8 p.m. every Saturday night. But if you come here, there are rules. Don't allow any drinking. We don't allow any rude behavior because we want people to be able to bring their children and have a good time. When Mama Everett was alive, the rules were even tougher. No short dresses, no long hair, no short pants. Since they passed away, we kind of uh, let some of those rules slide, you know. There's still no cursing or fighting or drinking, but there is spontaneous buck dancing. You can wear shorts, and the length of your hair doesn't matter much. And this fourth generation Everett can pretty much do anything she wants, because that's Uncle Roger and Randall up there on stage. Atlanta is crowding in on Suwannee, but now the Everett brothers will tell you, let her come. We ain't changing a thing. Now, don't everyone try to go at once to the Everett Brothers Music Barn in Suwannee. It only holds about 200 people, but the music is great. The price is right. It's absolutely free. It is an incredible family outing. You'll love it. Sounds like it. And it's always room in the budget for free. Uh, Bill, yeah, <laughs> Bill Liss went there last weekend. He stayed till midnight. He did loved he? it. Yeah. What, did he do any dancing, too? Probably. We, we didn't get it. We, we should have gotten that on yeah. tape. Yeah. All right. Great story. Thanks, Wes.